This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Dulux Maitland. Hello everybody, welcome to Cape Rugby TV, Wednesday night. And we bring you the very best of what's happening in the world of Western Rovers Club Rugby. Um, I've been away for the past two weeks, Morgan Newman stood in for me and uh, big thanks to Morgs. Uh, he's not with us this evening, but um, I believe uh, he did a fantastic job and uh, always great to have, have Morgan Newman on the panel with us. So Morgs, if you're watching us right now, thank you very much for your support. Of course, big thanks to Score Energy Drinks on board with Cape Rugby TV. You know that you can win yourself a case of Score during the course of the show. 33090 is the number that you're going to need to SMS to. Dulux Maitland at number 30 Cooper Road. And of course, MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy where the Stormers were out uh, uh, just uh, the week before last. Um, of course, on the corner of N1 and the Durban Road. Let me introduce you to my panel this evening before we take a look at what's coming up. Jerome Parvater, nice to have you. You've also been away, Jerome. Yeah, I've also been away. Not away, but I uh, couldn't make it um, because mm. uh, we, were, we were training on yeah. that, on that uh, time. So, But yeah, back again. So it's good to be back. And uh, practicing to be new Cape Rugby TV takeover presenter, dressed perfectly in his Cape Rugby TV t-shirt. Uh, uh, Ishmael Dali, Ish, nice to have you. Yes, good to be back, uh, JP. Um, Morgan has done a great job, so um, your place uh, is in jeopardy. Um, I know. So uh, you better watch out there. Eh? Finally, finally. <laughs> you guys think I'm unhappy. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you know, next year it'll be 10 years. Next year will be wow. 10 years of Cape Rugby. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. How time yeah. has flown. Time has flown, yeah. All about talking about Western Province Club Rugby. And of course, you guys were there from the beginning. And you still look the same. And you still look the same. Jer Jerome, you in fact look like you got younger. Wow. Yeah, what Definitely. a compliment. Jeez, <laughs> like it. I know, I know. I don't know about how many of us can say that, though. <laughs> Folks, coming up on the show tonight, we're of course going to take a look at the uh, matches that we got the footage from in Super League A, which is of course Marty's up against Union Mill, Brackenfell were up against Primrose. Durbo were up against UCT and Paul were up against UWC. Remember, any clubs out there, if you've got game footage and it's a reasonable quality, please co make contact with us. Get it to us because we'd like to share your games as well. At the moment, we're able to get our hands on the Super League A games and it's a pleasure just showing you that footage. We'll also be catching up with DHL Stormers players Chris Van Sale, uh, last year's Curry Cup captain and lock at the Stormers. Scrum of Herschel Junchies, hey, hey man, yeah, what a player. And center Dan Krill. Before I go talk to you about which uh, was our, 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 our game of the weekend, let's just quickly touch on Herschel Junchies. Jerome, I actually um, uh, WhatsApp messaged you during the Stormers game. He was playing out of his socks. This is a guy that you, um, you, you spotted him a while back already. Yeah, no, Ursel has been in the system from schools rugby, um, and it's 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 good. Uh, a local local boyki uh, playing good rugby, and the message yeah. that I send you is like, I think he's going to the Boca. He's going, it, po po quite possibly, is my Dolly? Is, yeah. I mean, him and Papier for <coughs> Springbok squad. Definitely, uh, I think he's uh, he's growing in confidence, and you can see just uh, with the opportunities that he's getting, he knows that he's been packed and it shows in his performances and. Uh, yeah. The maturity that he's shown over the past couple of games is amazing. Yeah, I think uh, one of the things that I really love about Herschel Giants is his feed. He doesn't waste time, he just feeds the ball. Yeah, yeah I think uh, uh, what a great trait of a scrum off is to get that ball as quickly out as possible. And as a fly off, you know, you want that ball in your hands as, as soon as possible and just to feed that back line. And he's doing a great job uh, by feeding that back You're line. a fly off, you know that you don't want to scrum off uh, fiddling around with the ball, you want the ball as quickly as possible as soon as it comes out the scrum. Yeah, I mean time is, is of the essence, especially when you're a decision maker mm. uh, and, and the nine and tens are key decision makers within a, within a team and to give these guys as ample time as possible to make the right decision is always going to be great. Yeah, right folks, uh, Stellenbosch Coronations were up against Blake's over the weekend. Uh, of course, playing in the Northern League at the moment. Um, this coming weekend, though, it'll be Stellenbosch Coronations up against Van der Stel Evergreens. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do Stellenbosch Coronations twice in a week. So we bring you Stelco up against uh, Blake's. Let's take a look at the uh, first half. And we'll, of course, be catching up with their captains and coaches, Strappy Gordon um, at uh, Stelco and Dylan Farrow. And, of course, Blake's coach, Wayne Julies, as well as Aldrin Greif, captain of Blake's. Let's take a look first. first half. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Dulux Maitland.
Laat ik beginnen hier te zeggen, wel dan to the officials. De referee ging bij je goed van hier. Bij een lekker voordeel toegelaten, wel dan aan die officials. Dat is hier wat ik graag wil gewinnen. Ten minste met de vier punten weggekomen. Of kan je eens een punt die game met je en dat maakt het nog bij je moeilijk voor hem toe. Volgende keer van een stel. Als het hier makkelijk kan zien, weer kan oppen. Het eerste vier, het gaat al moeilijker dan. Zo, hier in, ga niet gelijk af gaan. Dat we kunnen ons al nou moeten denken aan bonuspoints hier vanaf rechtop. En alles op het pak los, zonder excuses. En in die top 9. Gelukkig heb ik nu al een viering van top 9, van de media, van de reden die ik heb gehad. En vooral is die top 9, hier daar gaan het voor de management van die players. Ons beplanning was eindelijk die week bij je goed geweest op je oefenveld. En ons het bij je hard gewerkt op je oefenveld. Ons het drie aanen ingezet. Maar ons discipline het ons in de steek gelaat. En ons het in de eerste helft bij je goed defend. Van die score was 0-0 in de eerste helft. En ik denk net, ons het ons zelf in die voet geschiet. Ons werk bij je hart om op boe te blijven, maar ik weet niet, als ons hier kan performen op zaterdag op je veld, dan baat het niks, maar ons zal moeten ons mindset recht krijgen en ons wil graag op boe uitkomen en zo. En ons het bij je goeie straks. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCAM 24 Hour Pharmacy and the New Lux Maitland. Folks, um, are we going to have a discussion around the Blake Stell call game when we come back after the break? We'll also take a look at the second half, and I'm sure that our Jerome and Ishmael Dolly, who's joined me on the show uh, this evening, will have plenty to say about that game. We'll talk more about that um, after the break. Back in a sec. Welcome back, everybody. It's Cape Rugby TV every Wednesday night, uh, 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. You're on Cape Town TV. Remember to tell your friends. And of course, the repeaters on a Saturday from 9 to 10. We went out to go and watch Blake's up against Stelcor. They're playing in the Northern League. Um, this was a, well, pretty much a derby match. The two teams are just across the road from each other. Um, uh, we uh, watched the first half uh, just before we went to the break. Let's catch up now with the second half. And then we will uh, speak to the captains and coaches. And then we'll get the panel to give us their input. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and the New Lux Maitland.
Ons wil gaan, ons wil game, ons gaat een game voor game, maar die challenge is nog lijk en ons speel een groot challenge. Groot challenge wie veel is, is die licht nie. So basically kom ons in, half past 6, toen die pas sê ons het donker. So basically is die half uur, toen om in te week. En ons die ander challenge ook lijk en die ouwens kom hier met name veel te nie. En dit maak die challenge nog groot op een dag. Maar die ouwens kom moet het in ingestel altijd, as hulle gee hy 20 meter, 30 meter. En dit is wat skil maak, hulle glo in die trei, hulle glo in bliks. En wat is nog nader dan is hulle gewoon onszelf. Ja, en dit maak ons skil vir al die, 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 die ouds wat minie lidse sister, bro, anti, oma. As hulle teenwoordig is, dan gie die, die, die player op die veld extra boos om te wees. My familie is die, ek moet speel vir hom en vir hou. En dit maak ons skil nie ons hele ingesteldheid. Geestelik, um, physical, en dit maak ons nie te verskil om lekker in rere uit te gaan, jou te geniet en te zwen. Jy sê het my haar probeer om die knoop weer te druk. Ons is geweet, dit gaan een, een tafel game wees vir ons allemaal. Maar een derby bly maar, een derby, een rugby is een rugby. So, ons moet maar net speel tot ons omhoog, dat ons talente uitleef. Definitief terug, so, soos jy sê, ons jaal saam hierdie jaar. So, ons coach het een baie groot inpak op ons ook. So, ons moet net die discipline ook maar net recht krijg. So, ons vat het maar stap per stap, soos ek sê. Ons, dit is ons doel om, om top 9 te haal, maar ons eindelijke doel is om die league te win. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCAM 24-hour pharmacy and the New Lux Maitland. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, caught me unawares there. Um, Jerome Parvata, let's quickly go to the game. Um, it looked like a very equal 50-50 game. Typical derby match. First half we looked at, 0-0. No, no. Yeah, first half, 0-0. No, no. um, quite, um, quite tight. But um, I think um, there were, there is, if I look at the first half, there were opportunities for guys to score. But yeah. um, just hold on, hold on to the ball too long. So hopefully both teams can work on that. Um, I don't know if it was good defense, but it was, for me, it was, there were opportunities, yeah. um, but they didn't use it. At the end of it though, Ish, um, at the end of it, uh, Blake came through the, through the ranks there, taking the win. Uh, is it a derby match scenario, or is it just a 50-50 game? I think Blake, um, they have a bit of advantage. They have a former Springbok coach, uh, Wayne Julius, and uh, I see David Hendricks also, a former mm. provincial player. This, I mean, those guys bring a lot of experience to, uh, to the club, and. Uh, I can see from the, the interview with the captain, and they feed a lot of that um, that leadership and that yeah. experience. So, well done to uh, to Blake's um, some nice tries that they've scored, very enterprising play, um, mm -hmm. and yeah, all the best uh, for them for the rest of the season. Right, folks. Um, uh, speaking from experience there with uh, teams that have got former Springbok coaches, um, Ishmael Dolly, of course, uh, head coach at um, Union Mill, together with Ad Jacobs. Um, that whole squad of guys, in fact, now in Western Province, Jerome. Uh, if I think about all the, the various coaches we've got, uh, uh, and players, in fact, yeah. with, with either provincial or international experience, it's great to see this level of guys um, at club level. No, it's good. Uh, if you're, uh, you're not a former Springbok coach, he's a former Springbok player. <laughs> Oh, did you not coach? I, I'm sorry, when it comes to Ishmael Dolly, I'm never <laughs> no, sure. No, no, no. Well, uh, <laughs> I come out of the sky Ismail, <laughs> Ismail, Ismail and uh, Ismail is a, is a former player, and Wayne Julius is a former Springbok player. Yes. He's not a Springbok coach. Well, I don't know. I've, I obviously just said the wrong thing there. Folks, I've got a set of <laughs> tickets. <laughs> I've, I've got a set of tickets to, up for grabs, yeah? Uh, for those of you that might be interested. All right, so the Stormers are up against the Crusaders. Uh, this is on the 18th of May. Now, if you want to win the set of tickets, you're going to have to go in the draw. Um, but the way to do it is you've got to enter the score competition. So if you want to win yourself a case of score energy drinks, 33090. That's the number that you need to message. 33090. And uh, you'll put yourself in the mix to win a case of score energy drinks. And you will automatically go in the draw to go and watch the Crusaders up against the Stormers at Newlands. Now, I know that these tickets, Ish. Uh, I don't know why you're only putting up two. I mean, with the Crusaders coming to town, I mean, there's a fair share of uh, Crusader <laughs> supporters in Cape Town <laughs> as, uh, as it's been uh, very much publicized. Um, two is too little. Yeah. Two is too little? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you would agree that this is a hot commodity. Hot commodity. Hot commodity. Yeah. Right. So if you want to win your, <laughs> if you want to go in the draw to win a set of tickets to go and watch the uh, DHL Stormers against the Crusaders on the 18th of, um, on the 18th of May, and you want to uh, put yourself in the mix to win a case of score energy drinks in double three oh nine oh, there you can see the number on the screen double three oh nine oh. You put yourself in the mix to win a case of score energy drinks. Congratulations to last week's winner.
James Finlander, James walks away with a case of score any drinks. James, somebody from Cape Rugby TV will get in touch with you uh, shortly. Right, folks, when we come back from the break, we'll uh, take a look at uh, the uh, uh, matches that were played over the weekend in, uh, well, the footage at least from Super League A, and then we'll take a look at uh, some of the other results and logs as well. We'll be back in a sec. Welcome back, everybody. Cape Rugby TV. Remember, double three oh nine zero. You put yourself on the mix to win. Stormers up against the Crusaders, as well as a case of score energy drinks. Super League A was, of course, in action over the weekend. There was a Friday night game as well as um, Saturday. So a lot of action back in West Marvels Club Rugby. Let's quickly look at some of the results before we look at the footage. Marty's were up against uh, Uni Mill um, over the weekend. 35-25 win for them. It was a win for UWC. 34-28 over Paul. Durbel uh, went down to UCT. And Bracken fell with a win over Primrose. 50 points to 15. Right, let's catch up first with the Union Mill versus Marty's game. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Dulux Maitland. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Dulux Maitland. Right, there we go, folks. Marty's up against Union Mill. A win for Marty's 35-25 over Union Mill. Um, Ish, we might as well start with you. Of course, you're coaching at Union Mill. Uh, close game. Close game. Only 10 points in it. Friday <coughs> night game. Tell us about it. Yeah. Um, it's always tough going up against uh, Varsity Cup champs mm -hmm. and... Um, I think they were there for the taking. Uh, we were 28, 25, five minutes ago, and yeah, when you play against these top sides, it's small margins that uh, small that things. count. Small things that count, and if you if you drop your guard on, on one or two small things, um, they pounce on it. Yeah. But um, we'll take a lot of confidence out of it. Um, not many teams can score four tries against Marty's. Yeah. Uh, so we picked up a bonus point, um, and the guys will learn from that experience. Um, playing on a Friday night is, is always difficult, especially after a long day's work. But um, yeah, it is what it is, and we're, co we're confident that we can rectify it in the next game. All right, Jerome, before we go to you, let's quickly take a look at the head-to-head. -head. Yeah, Stellenbosch come up against SK Warmers this coming weekend. Um, now, Marty's, of course, a little bit low on the log. They're just getting started. They're sitting on 10 points. Um, SK is sitting on 13, uh, uh, at, at least 13th position on the log. So a little bit uh, of a up and down there. Marty's have played one. They've got 100% success rate. SK is two. They're still trying to get on the board. Jerome, if we look at the stats here, the favor is in Marty's uh, favor at the moment. You've just saw them playing against Uni Mill. 
Um, SK is going to have uh, their work cut out for them. Um, um, it's going to be a tough one. It's not easy. It's still in bush. But mm. um, um, Milneton showed that, that you can go out there and, 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 and you can because, uh, I mean, a lot of the Marty players are with various teams within Western Province now, so they're not as strong. So it's not quite the original Varsity Cup squad that no, you had. No, no, it's not. So, 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 whenever you have an opportunity to take points against them, it's 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 the right time to do it's it now. SK Women's and Primrose. Primrose is playing against Uni Mill this coming weekend. We're going to take a look at those stats in a second. Um, but SK Women's and Primrose will both want to put the points on the board now. The fast is starting soon, and wh what's the, what's the game plan now? Is it get it, get the points on the board because there's going to be a long break. Yeah, I think uh, especially when you look at the, when the season and the, and the fixtures are rolled out, you look at trying to gain as much points as possible just before Ramadan. Yeah. Because um, you get you get this four five week break during Ramadan, and then you know you've almost got to start pre season all over again. Yeah. So um, both teams and both clubs would would like to to get as much points, whether it's wins or, or, or scoring four tries or ending with in seven points. So I think that should be the objective, for, especially for SK playing. Marty's, it's a, it's a tough ask, uh, but it can be done. Um, yeah, well, you nearly did it. With, with a little bit of belief and, 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 and if the, the guys rock up with the right mindset, I mean, they're human after all, like all the other guys, so. Yeah. Right, so this weekend, uh, Primrose will be up against Brackenfeld, at least uh, Primrose, of course, up against Union Mill this weekend. They played against Brackenfeld this past weekend. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the, the highlights. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Dulux Maitland. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCM 24-Hour Pharmacy and Dulux Maitland. So this coming weekend, Primrose take on a Uni Mill. Uni Mill, of course, got a home ground advantage. Jerome, looking at that footage there and uh, watching Primrose playing some reasonably good running rugby there, um, I would say that the scores may be a little bit um, flattering for, for Brackenfell, 50 points to 15. And uh, looking at Primrose, we have to also remember that these guys have pulled out all the stops at Newlands last year to, to secure their win. They look like they've got the rugby in the making to put the points on the board. Yeah, they, ca they can't play rugby, JP. I think their biggest problem is, is, is their defense. Uh, um, so they need to work on that because they can attack. You could see now they can score. Yeah. So their biggest problem is defense. And I look at the, 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 the easy tries, Brackenfeld, and go score. 
mm. and the defense is just making their tackles. But isn't that a standard problem in club rugby issues? Must be practicing defense. Everybody can run a ball in yeah. Western Province. It's like our strengths, running rugby. Yeah, I think uh, when you're attacking and you're having the ball in your hand, it becomes natural to, yeah. to everyone that, that plays the game. Uh, defense uh, requires a little bit more organization and time. requires time. And, and, and I mean, when you're only training two, three times a week, you got to fit in your attack, your kickoffs, your defense. I mean, and yeah. you kind of just touch on it uh, in season because, I mean, there's just not much time you can, can, can dedicate to it. So, yeah, uh, it comes a little bit of heart as well. So as much as you have the defensive structure in place, uh, if the guy doesn't have the ticker or the heart, well, you can have the best structure. When we come back from the break, we'll take a look at this big match of the weekend, uh, UCT against Durbel. Many people couldn't call this. It's going to be interesting to look at. As we, uh, of course, uh, mentioned, uh, UCT were up against Durbel over the weekend, and uh, many people predicted that Durbel would take this game, considering that Durbel just came out of a strong Gold Cup performance. But UCT is certainly not taking uh, the... Uh, uh, 2019 season lying down. Of course, uh, Durbel went down to UCT in, uh, the, over the weekend. Let's take a look at the highlights. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and the New Lux Maitland. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and the New Lux Maitland. There we go, folks. A fantastic game there from UCT, Jerome, um, well, and from Durbel. In fact, I mean, it's 34-28. You, you, it's a very mm. close margin, two equal sides. Yeah, it's a lot of points on the field there. Um, see that um, one try that UCT scored. Uh, was quite, they kicked the ball quite deep, uh, Durbel. But the chase lines, there were no chase lines, and you, you, you're you going to get punished if you What's play What's that? You're going to have to explain to me, um, what is a chase line? No, Ismail, you, do you know what a chase line is? If you, if, you, if, you, if you kick a ball deep, mm -hmm. then obviously you need, to, you need to have a line that, 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 that goes up and chains, chase in a line. There right. was only, it's only one guy that chase. Okay. So then it was easy, one pass, and that guy almost ran to the whole team. Super League A is looking to, like it's getting tougher and tougher. For me, the toughest league is Super B, <laughs> uh, without a doubt. But um, yeah, Super it's tough A, just uh, looking at it. yeah, just looking yeah. at it. But Super A has its moments, um, and on any given day, any team can beat anyone. I think. 
you can also you can also see it in, a, in a other ways i i i watched the the gold cup this year uh, the competition wasn't wasn't that good if you look at the teams that you played played against so 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 uh derby i mean they went and play in the final but <laughs> with super a in western province yeah uh, you must be on your game mm. but we've said this for a number of years mm -hmm. now that y yes the uh, it's a tough competition but super league a on its own in western province rugby mm. is as tough if not tougher yeah because uh, i mean week in and week out you're playing uh tough competition and and everyone wants to beat everyone on any mm. single day and that can happen um and it's proven so um yeah super i always i always yeah. say that we've got the best and the strongest rugby competition in south africa yeah. uh, and we need to cherish it eh? uh paul we're up against uwc of course paul uh, making talking about uh, of course uh, UW, uh the varsity cup and varsity shield uwc just coming out of the varsity cup paul um uh, first time in uh, super league eh? and uh, it was a win then for uwc over paul let's uh, catch up with these highlights this cape rugby tv feature is brought to you by score energy drinks mchem 24-hour pharmacy and the new Lux maitland This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and the New Lux Maitland. All right, folks, welcome back. Don't forget, double three oh nine oh. You win yourself, uh, go in the mix to win yourself a, a case of uh, Score Energy Drinks as well as a, um, a set of double tickets to go and watch the DHL Stormers up against the Crusaders at Newlands on the 18th of May. Double three oh nine oh. Don't forget that number. Let's quickly take a look at the head-to-head -head, uh, stats here between UWC uh, and Brackenfeld. This is the game, Super League A game coming up this weekend. Jerome, if we look at this, uh, UWC, they've only played two matches so far. They've got one, one from two. Um, Brackenfeld, on the other hand, three from three so far. They've got 100% success rate, but UWC are putting on more points on average per game and more tries. The stats tell us that Brackenfell has potentially got the advantage, whereas uh, UWC, um, I've been, I've been talking now in terms of success rate. Yeah. Brackenfell is 100% success rate. UWC, though, have got the points on their side. Yeah, look, uh, UWC played two. They've uh, obviously beat Paul this weekend. In the previous game, they, they, they drew to, to yeah. Hamilton's. 
So yeah, I think it's a I think it's a good start for 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 UWC. It's better than last year. Mm -hmm. Last year they they I think they lost their first three mm -hmm. games. Yeah, and they were a bit in trouble. So it's a it's a it's a better start from them. But uh, um, Brackenfell, if you look at uh, yeah, their points is uh, um, they are on a high and yeah. they they're doing pretty well. So <coughs> it's, uh, I must say that the only thing that I do see a little bit against UWC is the points against them at the moment. I, th I think it's still early days, but what, what, what's, what's quite interesting is the two contrasting styles of play. I mean, UWC renowned for giving the ball a little bit of air and using the outside backs. Um, Brackenfell a bit more direct and using more of the power game. So it will be a great game to go watch and, 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 yeah. and see. I mean, uh, I think it will be a cracker. Uh, whoever comes out the top um, will probably be the ones that use the opportunities. Well, this might be sort of that early season decider. You want to win this game, this will t make a decision where, where you fit in the log. Well, if Brackenfell come away with, with five points, it will put them in a really good good position in, in that top four. UWs as well, uh, so we'll get them up into that top six. Mm, it's going to be interesting. Right, folks, we're taking an ad break. When we come back from the break, we'll take a look at uh, the rest of the fixtures in uh, West Wales Club Rugby. Super League B is certainly getting hot. Back in a sec. Welcome back, everybody. Um, as you know, uh, over the weekend, the DHL Stormers had a massive victory over the Bulls. I think they owed them that one, considering their first game of the season. Uh, we were, of course, lucky enough to catch up with some of the DHL Stormers uh, at their practice session this week. We spoke to uh, Chris Van Sale, who's, of course, lock at the Stormers. Uh, Dan Krill, center from the DHL Stormers. And the man who played out of his socks this weekend, uh, Herschel Janchis. Let's uh, see what our boys had to say. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy and the New Lux Maitland. You know, the tour like that gets quite long. Um, I thought we, were, we played some good rugby and unfortunately, you know, we might not have got the results we wanted, but definitely um, I think we played some great rugby over there um, and it was good to get a win before we came home. And then, you know, obviously just to be back in front of the DHL faithful is always great. Um, you know, to see the fans again, it's just, it's just wonderful and we really appreciate that. So, I mean, after the first round um, game against the Bulls, we were obviously disappointed and, and that's why we had a point to prove. Um, I thought the guys did really well um, and, you know, it was great that we got the win. Um, even though it was quite tight, I think, you know, overall it was a convincing win and one that the guys would take a lot of confidence out of. It's always nice to play on the I think from the side, it was still for me to play on the side. And every time I get a chance, I always say, yeah, I'm good. Every time I get a chance, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And yeah, my win, obviously, I've got it. And I've got it. It's a special place. I think it's important for us to be able to do it. We don't have a stick of grass that we can play on. We just need to focus on us. And we go with a mission. We want to win on the other side. Um, nice to come out to so like a bye. I mean, the first one against uh, the first one of the season, you know, we, we put it behind us. It's, it's one of those things that happened. Um, and uh, this past game on Saturday was a crucial one for us. So the boys, you know, it was a tough week, it was a good week, and uh, we pitched up. So I think our mindset going into this week and going into this traveling week um, to play Yaguaris away is uh, the only thing we want to come away with is a win. So, um, and you know, the traveling it doesn't help. It's a long travel, but um, whatever it takes is what we'll do. And uh, Looking forward to Saturday. This Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy and the New Lux Maitland. Our DHL Stormers boys making us uh, proud over the weekend as they beat the Bulls. They now travel overseas to go take on the Jaguars. Time for us to take a look at the club rugby fixtures. UWC up against Brackenfell this weekend. Union will take on Primrose. UCT has home ground advantage against Paul. Marty's and SK Warmers. NTK take on Tigerberg and Durbel take on Hamilton's. Right, folks, many of you will remember that this will be that it was an NTK win for Tigerberg, uh, at least for uh, a win for NTK over Tigerberg last year. So Tigerberg, I'm sure, will be will be reminded of that loss, and will Anton Wilman and his guys will certainly be looking to to uh, put one on over NTK. But NTK has got home ground advantage and it's club rugby and nothing can be taken for granted. Let's take a look at the results in uh, Super League B. Couple of big games, Hamlets with a 52 points to five win over Rangers. Collegians went down to Helderberg 21-10. Macassar uh, went down to Belhar 42 points to 20. St. George's with a good win over Goodwood. Vineyards went down to Belleville and All Saints with a win over Busy Bees. All right, folks, let me take, highlight a few things for you. Hamlets with a big win over Rangers. We know what that means. Mm. Collegians, I think, did particularly well against Helderberg. Helderberg come off a more than 100-point win um, uh, that they, they scored last year. 
Now, I know, uh, not last year, this year. Mm. Uh, I know collegians went down to Helderberg. They had to play away from home. They didn't mm. have home ground advantage. They had to play at Sunflare because the Lendigia fields were, are not playable. I think collegians did, did quite well here. Well, considering Helderberg gave Rangers, uh, I think it was 100 last week, yeah. um, collegians can be very proud of, of that performance, and I think they'll take some confidence out of that. Um, you've mentioned that uh, they don't really have a home ground. So mm. they're currently training at, at different fields. and I think it's very sad. I'm just pointing out, I, th I think it's absolutely shocking. I think it's absolutely shocking that, 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 that there's a community field as strong as Collegians with so many people who rely on the sports facility that that facility is, has not been taken care of. Whatever the reason mi mm. might be, whatever the reason the city might have, I, th I think it's absolutely shocking that that, 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 that facility is not up to scratch. Uh, Moving I, on. I totally agree. And I mean, to put out uh, three, four teams uh, consistently week, out, week in and week out, I mean, I think the club and the administration needs to take a lot of, um, lot of happiness and a lot of joy and satisfaction that even though uh, the uncontrollables that they, they, they don't have in their control, it's not yeah, uh, no, what they can do. They, 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 they're still doing what they can do. And I, I think, think it's, it's very sad. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I really, I, mean, I think I can get onto this, into this topic for hours and hours you and talk about it. You can get very deep into it. So I'm uh, very passionate and very excited about it. But it just, so just leave it at that. Leave it at the fact that this is absolutely shocking. Collegians not just playing rugby. They're looking after the whole community. Mm. All right, let's move on to Rome. Belhar uh, is a Super League A outfit. And I think they probably reminded Macassar here of the, <laughs> of the difference. 42 points to 20. Macassar is a great team as it is. Yeah, it's a good result for, for, for Bialadi and De Bialadi is definitely um, working their way up in the ranks mm. again. And Makassar, I mean, they, they're a team that can play rugby, mm. so yeah, hopefully they can bounce back. Surprising win, or at least some people would have said a surprising win, but Belleville, ish, you would know this because Belleville has beaten Union Mill on one of its <laughs> good days, and it certainly has got a sting in the tail there, but a big win for Belleville over Vineyards. Yeah, that's a big win, and uh, Belleville renowned for being giant killers. I mean, Jerome has a strong relationship and link mm. with Belleville. Um, yeah, two years ago, uh, we were unbeaten, and Belleville came and just knocked us off our perch. So, Belleville was very, very good, and, and uh, Vineyards will be smarting and thinking, hey, how will, how will that one get away? Um, national Vineyards, as they call them <laughs> now. National Vineyards. Vineyards got a new sponsor, National. Um, I think it's, I'm not, not quite sure what the National does, but National Vineyards is there. The, the, the title name now. Yeah, but I think uh, based on this results, you can clearly see um, the clubs that have super A experience um, bringing, yeah. it, bringing the, the experience and class to the fore. I mean, your Bellars, your Helderbergs, uh, your St. George's. Uh, and I mean, these guys will be prominent um, in the league in the top four uh, come the end of the season. Yeah, let's quickly take a look then at the fixtures. Um, or, or anything on Bell Belleville side from you, Jerome, quickly? No, 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 they uh, a, a young team, and I must say Regan uh, and um, Warren Isaacs are doing pretty good work with the youngsters. Yeah, and it looks like there's a good Gears at Belleville as well. A good no, spirit very, very, important. very good spirit, and uh, yeah. the supporters are back, and it's looking good. Yeah, no, fantastic, and it was great to see the guys from Belleville at the um, uh, media sponsorship workshop that we did. And I think the guys from Belleville, as well as many of the other clubs, have started implementing some of those things that we spoke about at the media sponsorship workshop. Let's take a look at the fixtures in Super League B. National Vineyards then up against Busy Bees. Rangers take on St. George's, Kales River and Young Peoples, Helderberg and Macassar, Collegians and Franchuk, Belha and Goodwood. I'd have to say one of the tougher games there is going to be Collegians and Franchuk. Uh, Franchuk has to travel, they really are performing well. Collegians are going to have to be, be heads up. Yeah, in that game, I mean, both teams have the same jersey colors. So, um, <laughs> it could be interesting to see how um, they yeah. really differentiates between, I mean, it's both blue, white and red so mm. yeah i think that should be a cracker yeah. um yeah let's take a look at the fixtures in super league c this weekend folks strand united up against young wesley's then strand take on elsie's river scottsdean up against blue jets langa and morningstar Kalamore and Peniel villages hands and hearts and cryfontaine blue stars and manenburg all right the one that's going to jump out for me here uh, i've got to say uh Kalamore up against Peniel villages uh the one, Derby. That, the one that stands up for me, I think it's Hands and Arts, Cryfontaine. Uh, hands and Arts, Cryfontaine. There are a few <laughs> people that will agree with you that one. I know that the folks from Cryfontaine are going to be... Separated by a highway. Um, so yeah. Separated by a highway, yeah. The Kalamore Peniel Villages game, folks, by the way, it's a pink day. Wow. Um, Kalamore Sport Fields, um, of course, Peniel Villages. And um, Amazing. so it's a good cause there. They're tackling cancer. That's the word mm. I was looking for, tackling cancer. So um, uh, Carla Moore and Penel Village is busy with a great initiative there. And I think that there's a derby match that you definitely want to go to if you're in that neck of the woods. 
Hands and Hearts, Cryfontaine, Jerome, two neighbors just across the road. A lot of people will be saying that this is the fixture, but Cryfontaine are going to have to really pull up their socks because it's not the team of old. Yeah, and Hands and Hearts is, is, is proven uh, in friendlies and um, in the games that they played so far. It's going to be a tough one for Cryfontaine. Yeah. All right, folks, we'll move along then. Let's take a look at the fixtures in the, the City League. It's Young Ideas up against Watsonia. Violets are going to be up against Silver Tree. Tempers of the City take on Watsonia. <coughs> and remember, folks, there are some Wednesday games here. Um, Masi Pumlele and Perseverance. Gardens take on Police. And Caledonian Roses take on Hamadiers. In the Southern League, Young Stars and Rocklands. Thistles and Silverleaf. Retreat in Atlantis. Nordlickers and Titans. CPUT take on Lagunia. And Bishop Labors take on Young Brothers. While in the Par League, Young Standards and Peril United, Simonium and Young Gardens, Riverstones and Allendale, and Paul Ranger are up against Violet's Paul. Your team, uh, I think Ricky and, and, and um, Rito, Rito have Trump taken charge of the, of the league as well. So, I mean, they've done extremely well in the yeah. Varsity Shield. So, uh, I chatted to Ricky and he said they're going to be taking them and hopefully bringing them up to the next league. So well I like that. Them. I like the fact that you've got a coach who's coaching the Varsity side and he stays with the team through the league. I yeah. think that's good for the club. That's good for continuity. It's good for um, sustainability. And mm. I think um, that club or that institution can just grow from strength yeah. to strength. They also, right, folks manage, they also manage to keep majority 90, of the players. 99 percent of the players. Which is also which good in the for past, them. the guys play mm. uh, in the shield and then they leave. Yeah. So now they can they have, they can bolt on. Okay. Them. Right, folks. So it's a jam-packed weekend of club rugby. Make sure that you get down to a club uh, close to you. Remember. You can go in the mix to win yourself a set of tickets to go and watch the DHL Stormers up against the Crusaders, the Canterbury Crusaders. They're coming to Cape Town. And uh, you can win a case of score energy drink. So just SMS the word score to 33090. Ispral Dolly is already reaching across it to take these tickets. Uh, 33090. Jerome, I quickly want to come to you. The Super Sport Challenge, guys. You're, of course, coaching the Super Sport Challenge. This is the old sort of Vodacom Cup team. You've got club guys there. You've got more than, I think, seven, I think 12 players from different clubs playing in your squad and uh, you played this weekend in east london um how did it go yeah we had a good weekend uh, playing sunday uh, against swd we beat them 62 7. so yeah first one 62 points to seven yeah so first one in the back it's uh oh, that's good okay. and you've got quite a few more games coming up because you'll yeah. be playing against the other provinces as well yeah we're playing uh saturday we're playing border in east london again um, so yeah, so hopefully we can put up another performance. I'm just thinking that it's quite important for people to understand that this is the Western Province side. It's the, the old Western Province Vodacom side. Mm. We, we, we must remember this is Western Province playing against Border, or Western Province yes, playing, uh, and, and not. And remember, yeah. this is an official team. It's yeah. Not yeah, yeah, a Casual yeah. put together club team. It's now the official the old Vodacom, but it's the Western Province squad. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. And you're coaching it. All right. Can we watch that on? Of course, these games are um, televised on Super I don't, Sports, I don't know so if we, um, Sunday's game was on TV. Mm. Yep. Uh, I don't know if this game is going to be on TV. Okay. But we can track your progress, and the other games that you are playing will definitely be tuned in and uh, watch those games. Jerome, thanks for joining us. Um, good luck for this weekend. Yeah, thanks, JP. And good luck to, to all the clubs uh, this weekend. Uh, um, I definitely, um, when I'm back again, go around to the clubs. Mm, I'll be coming with you. I'll come and join you. Ishmael Dolly. Um, yeah, thanks for the tickets. Yeah. Uh, I'll be taking them and I'll be seeing <laughs> you. Yeah. Ah, jokes. Yeah. Uh, you, got, you got a full, uh, full boat this weekend? Yeah. Um, up against Primrose. Should be a tough one before the fast. And um, yeah, all the best to all the teams out there and look forward yeah. to chatting about it next week. I think mean, everybody's watching you and, and Union Mill uh, with uh, beady eyes at the moment, trying to see what sort of rabbits you pull out there. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> right folks that's a wrap from this year at Cape Rugby TV it's fantastic being back on the show two weeks off and of course big thanks to Morgan Newman for standing in with me and we hope that he will join us again next week uh, we'll also be uh, catching up with uh, Western Province uh, Head of Amateur Rugby Danny Jones hopefully will join us next week but that's a wrap uh, we'll see you again next week same time same place have a fantastic rugby weekend bye bye this Cape Rugby TV feature is brought to you by Score Energy Drinks MCHEM 24 Hour Pharmacy and New Lux Maitland